hey water signs welcome back to my channel welcome back so this reading is going to be your love interest next actions towards you for the rest of july so when i say your love interest this is your love interest so you could be currently dealing with this person you could be currently separated from this person you could be currently fighting with this person you could be you know it could be someone who you haven't spoken to in months so just take what resonates and leave what doesn't um this is going to be for my water signs pisces cancer scorpio sun moon rising venus and yeah i'm gonna just get into the reading if you'd like to book your personal reading you can do so through the link in my description box okay so water signs pisces cancer scorpio sun moon rising venus sorry if i sound a little tired you guys um i haven't drank my coffee yet so i am tired <laughs> what is who is my water signs love interest who is my water signs love interest give me a characteristic about this person a zodiac sign something okay so this is someone who's either pushing you away or you're pushing them away okay cleo well cleo is now in the room If you don't know who Cleo is, that's my kitty cat, and she is bad as hell, so you may hear her knocking things over and scratching things up. Okay, so your love interest, it could definitely be a fire sign, or they have fire sign placements, um, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but this is someone who you either push away or they push you away, and it's to prevent burdens. Like, let's say this person is the one that's pushing you away, right? they know that they've been burdening you they know that the connection is burdensome and they know that you know they're not doing things that they should be doing like they may trigger you in ways they may start arguments out of nowhere it's like they know that they're burdening you in some way or form and they don't want to but i feel like this person doesn't really know how to fix it so they push you away now let's say you're the one pushing this person away um they feel as if you do it because they're a burden to simplify to simplify it what's currently going on in their love connection give me a little backstory give me a little something something what is currently going on in their love connection this person could have libra placements or leo placements what's currently going on in y'all love connection clarification on this justice card I feel like somebody's trying to make things right what's currently going on i feel like somebody's trying to make things right or they're thinking about making things right but with this two of swords clarified by the well the justice card clarified by the two of swords i feel like whoever is the one that's trying to make things right doesn't know exactly what to do they don't know what to say they don't know what to do they don't know what next action they should take they just know that they want the connection to be much better than what it is now cleo uh-uh they just know that they want the connection to be much better than what it is now. I feel like at one point, the love connection was very, like, innocent, pure, childlike. Like, you can see with the sun card, it's, it's two kids, two toddlers. Like, I feel like the connection was very playful, very childlike, very innocent. But, you know, once you get out that honeymoon phase, that's when things start hitting the fan. And I feel like that's exactly what happened. And someone is trying to balance things out, make things better. Find a way how they can make it back to that um, that childlike connection, I guess you can say. All right. Oh, cards is already flying out. So let's just get down to the reading. Okay. So for my water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus what is their love interest next action towards them for the rest of july romantically what is their next action towards them they're trying not to overthink they're trying so hard not to overthink i feel like this person they i don't want to say they're delusional but i feel like a part of them it's like okay you know those memes that's like cleo uh-uh you know those memes that's like, oh, um, when your partner turns over and you're trying to figure out if they're mad at you, something like that. Like they're turning over because they just want to turn over. They don't want to be cuddling all night. They don't want to 
cuddle to fall asleep they just want to fall asleep on their own i feel like this person not to say that that's the exact example but basically i feel like this person reads in too deeply of what you do like the things that you do they read into it too deep and it has them you know feeling some type of way over things that really isn't a big deal whatsoever so with the nine of swords reverse i feel like this person is trying to get out their head and trying to stop looking so deep into things and taking everything so personally um i feel like that's their main focus for the rest of july what else does this person's next action towards my viewers Ooh. yeah your person could be an aquarius or have aquarius placements sorry if you see cat hair flying all over the screen um cleo keeps jumping in my lap but yeah with the star card this person they're trying to keep the peace and they know it's it's them like they know that you're not really doing anything wrong it's literally all them in their mind like you can see this person they're trying to like okay i'm trying to stop saying like but i'm trying to find the words to say and cleo is distracting the hell out of me okay so you can see with this card it's like she's trying to cool herself off she's getting the water from you know the lake the river and she's trying to cool herself off like i see that this person they're trying to cool themselves off they're trying to keep the peace within the connection they're trying to get out their head they're trying to stop looking at things on a deeper emotional level they're trying to stop taking things personally it's like they're even with the king of swords at the bottom of the deck it's like they're trying to think more logically than emotionally and that's exactly what they're thinking like they're doing they're thinking too much off of emotions they're looking at things too deep and most of the things that you know they're they're viewing things as it's not what it seems it's just all in their head i hope i'm making sense you guys I'm trying to find the words what else is this person's next actions towards my water signs for the rest of july clarification on the ton of swords this person has big trust issues one more card okay this person has big trust issues big trust issues like to the point that they feel every connection in their life all the people it's like an illusion like they don't feel like the people in their life is actually genuine they don't feel like the people in their life genuinely loves them genuinely cares about them like this person they have bad trust issues whether it be from past friendships past love connections um from their past like as in their childhood this person they're they have trust issues like a motherfucker i'm not even gonna lie they have really bad trust issues like they always feel like somebody's gonna betray them somebody's gonna turn their back on them somebody's only around them to hurt them but with you they feel that things are very genuine with you so with the page of pentacles it's like they're they're trying to get out of that immature mindset and trying to offer you the love they know they can give like i said in the beginning of the reading it looks like either you or your love interest is pushing the other away and considering how this reading is turning out it looks like your love interest is the one that's pushing you away and it's all because of um because of their trust issues and because of their trust issues they can't love you the way that they want to because they feel like you're gonna betray them or you're gonna cheat on them or you're gonna leave them so it's just in july it's not necessarily actions towards you it's more so them trying to grow as a person even with the moon card it's like they think the the connection in their life is just fake and i feel like they don't even tell you that i feel like they don't share that with you whatsoever they keep it to their self and that's another reason why I don't want to say they're going so crazy but that's another reason why you know they're they're just feeling so uneasy it's because they're not even sharing that with you like if they were to share with you oh yeah um i i need reassurance or i feel like 
the connection is falling apart or whatever the case may be, however they're exactly feeling. If they were to share that with you, that would give you the chance to give them the reassurance that they need, but they're not doing that. So it's like, you, you don't even know what's going on in their mind. They're not giving you a chance to know. What else does my water signs need to know about this person? Cleo. Cleo. Can you please stop? What else does my water signs need to know about this person? One card at a time, please. They want the connection to grow. So they know that they need to change their ways. They know that they need to change it ASAP to keep the, per the connection growing. One more card. I feel like they're finally going to open up as well. They're gonna let all their truths out. So the things that they've been through that's making them feel like everyone in their life is fake or every connection in their life is fake, they're going to open up about it and they're gonna express that with you. So I feel, you know, give this person a chance to speak on it. Don't start shutting them down like, no, but I love you. Like, no, just give them a chance to let it all out because that may be just what they need. Someone to vent to, someone to let that side of them out and then they may just, you know, stop having those thoughts. I don't know. But I do see that this person wants the connection to progress. And I do see that they may or may not express how they've been feeling, especially with this two of wands here. You know, it's all about not knowing which path to, to take. But regardless of which path it is, it's a path to progression. So I do see this person wanting to... um to express how they feel will they you know time will tell but let's get some advice for you so what's some advice for my water signs regarding this love connection what's some advice for them regarding this love connection we got the knight of cups temperance okay so with this reading you may feel like okay let me let me speak to them about it let me force them to open up basically that that's what it would be if you were to take this reading into consideration and then reach out to your love interest and you know try and pull it out of them that's basically forcing them to open up so just allow things to happen you know you can give them reassurance now as in you know i still want to be with you i still see a future with you i love you i would like this type of future with you you know i would like to have children with you i would like to um you know eventually get married with you like give them that reassurance so you can make them feel more at peace that would be your way of secretly making them feel more at peace more at ease but don't sit there and force it out of them like oh you've been acting different lately what's going on are you scared of commitment or like don't force anything out of them are you scared of the connection are you thinking about leaving like don't force anything out of them give them their reassurance but don't do it in a way of you're just trying to pull how they're feeling out of them. Just do it genuinely. And I feel that that's going to force them more to open up. Like that's going to open up their eyes even like, okay, my love interest is someone that I can open up to. There's someone I can be vulnerable with. There's someone that I can talk to about my issues. And that's, you know, it's going to naturally make them want to open up to you. So don't force things. Don't force this person to open up. But this is the end of y'all reading. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. If you would like to book a reading that's something like this, I don't have it on my website yet. I have it up on my Instagram page. My Instagram is down in the description box. So definitely make sure you check that out and follow. Um, it's their next actions. So you can do it for this month or next month. It's all up to you. But thank you for watching, you guys. Make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And have a good day, good night whenever you see this.